We've, like many schools, have been really focusing on AFL over the past couple of years and really getting children particularly involved in assessing their own learning, um, which we were doing a lot in maths and literacy, and we made a lot of use of coming up with success criteria and then get children to assess against the success criteria. And we particularly used the tickled pink and green for growth system, which for anyone who that makes no sense to is basically children highlight things that they think they've done well and teachers do in pink if they're good, it's in tickled pink, and things that they need to improve on are green for growth. And we use that in literacy a lot, in science, you know, if good scientific language it gets in pink lack of an explanation is in green. And we were looking, um, our ICT coordinator and I, about how we could bring that into ICT. Because um, we were certainly feeling, you know, you've got a good record of how children are progressing in their literacy books and from what you're doing in ICT. You've got a lot of examples of work, but you often... It's difficult as a teacher to then get to that and, and give quality feedback that lasts. You can talk to the children at the time. So what we decided to do through our learning platform, um, and this, I've done a sort of mock-up because obviously I, I didn't want children's names and things. So we have all of the classes have a learning log on our learning platform, which is primarily used for ICT, but actually this example is an ICT music example, strangely enough. Um, so basically what we do is we have a forum where each child has their own little area, their own topic, which is just called their names. I struggled to come up with good alliterative, alliterative names last night. We have Leon Lerner, Sam Swift and William Wonder. Sam Swift is a girl, just for a bit of, of gender opportunities there. Um, and then the teachers go in and type in the objective and the context of the work they're doing and a succession of success criteria li li linked to what they're doing. Um, and then at the start of the lesson, the children just highlight. And I did start, the first time I did this, I tried to do it on templates and did it in Word and in PowerPoint. So the children would then work on the template and they would have these um, options there, which was quite good. But then when I wanted to go and see what the children were doing, I had to go into every single child's piece of work and it was really unmanageable. So the way this works, and you could do it through blogs, I guess, or you could do it through a shared file or something on your network is the children would highlight and copy and paste the learning objectives. I'm not going to show you how to do that now because I really think if you, if you want that sort of level of instruction, this is probably not the time to do it. But they would copy and paste that. If I go into... Oh, there we go, Leon. I've, I've made a couple of pretend ones for him. And they would paste it as a new post each time. And then they would literally go in and highlight what they've done and use pink and green to show the areas they think that they can do and areas that they think um, they need to improve on. Now, I found that actually, although this, clearly these all look like I've said them, but that's just because I didn't have quite enough time to be a pretend William Wonder. Um, it's really good because I can then comment on what they've said about their learning so that then they've then got a record. And now at report writing time, I can go in and look at their learning log for the whole year, and I've got all of the information about how they felt they've done in their ICT lessons. When I do these properly as well, because our learning platform allows us to put in sound in, um, I tend to actually record all the learning objectives and the success criteria so that the children can actually listen to them as well. Because... I mean, even when I was working in year six, to be honest, I had some children who needed that support. And currently I'm doing this in year three and they really need that support. But it's just really helped. It's also had an added benefit across the school so that teachers are focusing much more on the learning and what learning they want your children to do rather than the outcomes. We used to have teachers talking about the fact that they were going to go and do a PowerPoint on the Tudors or something with, with little reference to actually what skills or what understanding they wanted and now because there are clear success criteria that's helped the teachers focus as well as the pupils so that's our use of learning logs and as I say they've now branched out and we use them for other things that we haven't got tangi tan tangible yes tangible evidence for so thank you very much